In this video, we're going to have a short discussion about piecewise defined functions. A piecewise defined function is something that is a function, in other words, each input has a unique output, but it's defined, it has different pieces for different parts of the domain. So what we're reading here is that f of x is x squared minus 1 when x is less than negative 1. It's 0 when x is in between negative 1 and 2 and it's 4x minus 4 when x is greater than 2. So first off we're going to evaluate some function values, see how that looks, and then we're going to sketch the graph. So we're asked to find f of negative 3. So first thing with a piecewise defined function we gotta figure out which piece we're using if x is negative 3. Negative 3 is less than negative 1 so we're going to use this first piece. So the function when x is less than negative 1 looks like x squared minus 1 so we would have negative 3 squared minus 1 or 9 minus 1 which is equal to 8. Now let's see what happens at f of negative 1. Now notice it's x squared minus 1 for x strictly less than negative 1. So it doesn't include negative 1 so we do not want to use this piece. Right here when x is greater than or equal to negative 1, the function is 0. So f of negative 1 is just 0 because we're using that middle piece. f of 0, we look for which interval 0 is in. 0 is in between negative 1 and 2. So once again it's this piece or it's just 0 because that's what the output is. f of 2, notice it's 0 when x is less than 2. It's 4x minus 4 when x is greater than 2. This function is not defined for x equal to 2. So we would say undefined. And finally f of 3. Well 3 is greater than 2 so we're going to use this last piece. So 4 times 3 minus 4 equals 12 minus 4, which is once again 8. Now this is an important part of understanding piecewise defined functions is just coordinating which piece of the domain we're on. Now graphing we do something similar. So let's bring over some axes and now we have both the axes and we can see our function. So for x less than negative 1 so negative 1 would be right here. So now I'm to the left. The graph looks like x squared minus 1. Okay. Now at negative 1, and you always want to find out what's going on at the endpoint. At negative 1, if I were to plug negative 1 into here, I get negative 1 squared which is 1, minus 1 which is 0. So it hits 0, but remember it's strictly less than, so right now I'm going to use an open circle and then to the left, because it's less than, my graph looks like a quadratic. x squared minus 1 would be the quadratic with a vertex at negative 0, negative 1. And then going back up with a quadratic looking piece there. Right, so that's our first piece. Now, next we're seeing what's going on between negative 1 and 2. At negative 1 exactly, it's 0. So this allows us to, now we're going to have the closed in circle at negative 1 because of this right here. Now our function is just 0 all the way up until 2, but not including 2. So at 2, I'm going to want to put an open circle, and now the function is just 0, which means it's just going to go right along the x-axis like so. Okay. Now we'll go to our last piece. Remember this thing is undefined for at 2. And the first thing we want to do is figure out where this piece is when x is equal to 2. And we'll put an open circle there. When x is 2, if I plug that in, I get 4 times 2, which is 8, minus 4. So 2, 4 is where this thing is going to start. But again, it gets an open circle. All right. Now the graph is 4x minus 4, so that's a line with a slope of negative 4. Sorry, excuse me, a slope of 4 with a y-intercept of negative 4. Now we're not going to draw the part of the line here 
because it's not defined here. We're, we're to the left of 2. But if we follow that up, that kind of gives us the slant of our line. We want it to go up 4 when we go over 1. So we're going to have a linear piece that continues on like so. And that's a rough sketch of our graph and how we can graph a piecewise defined function. What we do is we look at each piece. Always do the endpoint first. If it's strict inequality, give it an open circle. If it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you give it a closed circle.